Since our meeting last Friday, I've been thinking a lot about the issues and strengths that you brought up with the current existing product line for woodworking. That was me last June talking to the MagSwitch team before they'd even hired me as a consultant. They were considering hiring me and I really wanted that gig. So I put all my best ideas into one compelling video and shared it with them. And from my memory, it wasn't too long after that that we sealed the deal. And I'm really glad we did because it's been a lot of fun and actually a lot of the things in that video that I made we've executed on like a DIY kit for a roller guide featherboard for a bandsaw or a downward force vertical featherboard that mounts on the center of a Biesmeyer style fence and gives you stability when the workpiece might tend to lift up or a universal featherboard that performs well when it's positioned over the miter slot of a table saw or a stop block with micro adjustable bump feet that can let you either cut repeatable cross cuts on a table saw or repeatable slots. One more quick thing to mention about the stock block it would be pretty easy just to build this functionality into the new universal featherboard and that is exactly what we did but there is something from that video that hasn't been public yet you asked me how many t-slots i thought a drill press fence should have and i rambled about flip stops and hemmed and hawed um, but upon reflection i think the answer is zero i think we should build this guy just a big solid piece of machine steel bolted to two mag jigs so just like a flip stop, you can hide a stop block out of the way, clamp it to the metal, drill your hole, but it actually does a whole lot more than a flip stop could ever do because if I want a backer in the bottom for a through hole, I can still have perfect registration with that block uh, if I have a thin piece of stock and I can flip it 90 degrees and really get in tight with a small piece of thin stock and a little drill bit and and the chucks all the way down there I can still make that that hole uh, and there are other advantages here's an angled piece this doesn't happen very often but if I need to make repeatable uh, holes in in a piece that's going to have an angled registration with a stop block I can just tilt the stop block to whatever angle the piece is uh, and clamp it in place that way so it's an exciting day we did it we built this one too it's available for pre-sale now it was harder than a lot of the other ones but uh, we did it and i'm really happy with the result the functionality is exactly what i described in that initial prototype video subtle differences we put different mounting holes so that different it can accommodate smaller tables and the magnets for it are a new custom design one of the most challenging parts of this was the machining tolerances necessary to guarantee this is perfectly 90 degrees uh, so we started from scratch designed a new magnet so that these mounting surfaces are able to accomplish that so that is definitely something you can expect from this fence right out of the box with no screwing around and you can thank Macromona for the smaller version if you have a significantly smaller table this might be uh, more what you're looking for now these are high-end tools this is a beefy piece of steel with tight machining tolerances three magnets it's not an inexpensive thing to do. They're available for pre-sale right now at a discounted price. And if you use this code, you can take an additional 15% off that pre-sale price. This is the cheapest they're ever going to be. So I would take advantage of that if you have any interest in this. Uh, please let me know in the comments what you think. Also, there are a number of other people who are making videos. Uh, there are a couple that have come out already. I'm going to link those in the description, and as more people post videos, I'll keep a running tally uh, here so you can see what everyone is, is saying about uh, the fences. And to wrap it up, here's a DIY project that my wife is very happy that I got to and that I'm happy could let me show off some of the capability of the fence in a real-world example.
So this stop block is a strong magnet and there are gaskets in the base to increase the friction with the fence. So you would really have to knock it pretty hard to change its location and, and need to reset its position. I don't think it's a concern. I didn't have any trouble staying under that level of force when I contacted it with a workpiece. So I don't think it's a concern. That's great and all, but what is it that you're building? Did anyone guess replacement garage door windows? Uh, the originals fell out and then the cobbled together solution that the previous owner put together, that fell out. And then the cobbled together solution that I quickly threw up, well that fell out too. A large part of the problem is that the plexiglass cracks because of the pressure at just small individual screw points or the screws fall out. So I needed lots of screws on small pieces of plexiglass with the wood pieces to distribute the force and keep it from cracking. This is not a hard thing to do, but it's a hard thing to motivate yourself to do because it does take a long time. And let's face it, it's just not very interesting. It doesn't make for a great video. I can include it here just because mostly this was about the fence uh, with a project as an afterthought. It's kind of good filler material. Um, so this was a good excuse for me to get it done and let me show you a little bit more on the fence uh, like i said for a real world example um, and you know i get credit with the wife for uh, taking care of something that's been a problem for a while and she feels real good about what our windows look like now so i uh, hope you enjoyed this please uh, take a look at the description for uh, all the stuff that i described on the meg switch products and discounts and other videos and so on uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.